good morning welcome to the session of indian mathematics and astronomy i have structured this as several lectures three introductory lectures then a series of historical uh, perspectives on the development of indian astronomy and mathematics from the vedic era to the end of the classical period which is generally considered to end around 17th to 19th century an introduction to astronomy specifically indian astronomy we need to look at this to really understand how indian mathematics developed because it developed hand in hand with astronomy i will talk about how numbers were written in sanskrit documents through the ages and how they were conceived how they were recorded and what formats they were uh, written in if you look at the importance of astronomy in other cultures calendars or in their cultural outlook their motivation was very similar to ours the fundamental purpose in all of them is determination of time so you look at four vedangas vyakarana chandas jyotisha and shulbha sutras kalpa after we have completed the vedas and the vedangas we move to the era of the 18 siddhantas so we'll come to the final module in the historical sequence to the classical period of indian astronomy and mathematics beginning with the books of aryabhata and continuing all the way to the kerala school and finally to samantha chandrasekhar norisa